happy Monday. Thank you for joining me. Well, in today's video, I have an Amazon decor haul for you. And these are items that I purchased specifically for the new house. Just some new items to kind of jazz things up a little bit. Okay, so to kick off this Amazon decor haul, in the new house, I'm going to have a designated coffee bar area with three brown open shelves. And so in this decor haul, I was kind of thinking, what could I put on those shelves that would look beautiful year round? And perhaps I could just change out the florals for the season. So when I came across these adorable vases, I thought those would look good. They're smaller in scale, perfect for a shelf. And you guys know how I love black and white, but it's more like a gray and white with a stripe. You'll see. So I came across this set of three. Love these. Like I said, it said black and white, but it's not. It's more of a gray and white. It almost has a stone feel to it. And then it's uh, soft up here. But I think these are adorable and you could certainly add, you could group these in a set of three and then kind of put some succulents filling out or, you know, seasonal florals, but I love these. They're super cute. Look. So it's sort of a stone appearance right here. It's rough. It's like a rough texture. Then there's like almost like a very light pale gray line right here. And then white, very soft and smooth. So I think the set is adorable. Okay, so I love wire caged lanterns. I think they're beautiful. Wire cages give an open and airy appearance and feel. And so when I saw these, I'm like, I'm getting those. I have them without the little feet, but the feet are something new. So I thought I would try them out. Let's see how they're packaged. <music> okay, so within the lantern are these adorable feet for the lanterns. And all you have to do is screw them into the base. And here are the lanterns in three different sizes. Very cute. They all have little handles. And here's the large one. And then you can see here what it looks like. And what I would do is probably put a sprig of seasonal greenery on the bottom. And then I would set an LED flameless flickering candle on the inside. And then I would group them probably in a set of three on any tabletop, perhaps up on a mantle, put the large one on one side and then the two smaller ones on the other side. And super cute. Here's the large. Another option would be to take a small wreath, place that on the bottom of perhaps the big one and then put a candle in the middle and then come and get your open lantern and put that on the top. Very, very cute. And you can use these year round. Here's the smallest one. So small, medium, and large. Okay, so my next two items are cake stands and I'm gonna have different spots in the kitchen. I'm also going to have a big serving area behind the kitchen, almost like a huge butler's pantry. And so I thought of these for those spaces. I haven't seen these on Amazon as of recent. So I don't know if it's a new item or if I've just been living under a rock. They put a pretty card in the box. Let's pull this out. And basically this card on the back is asking if you're happy or dissatisfied with the product, which is really nice. And basically they're saying if you have found something unsatisfactory, they'd love to have the opportunity to take care of you and provide total satisfaction. So I love a company that stands behind their product and if you're not happy with it it's like send it back we'll make it right let's take a peek let's see how satisfied i am with this product it also explained that parts of this product have a distressed look so there is going to be some variation in the wood 
uh, look and feel. So I love it. I, I personally love a rustic look. It kind of gives it an old world vintage, it's been around a while kind of a look as opposed to a brand new piece of wood. But what I was drawn to with this product is the design on the front. Now, you all know I have a gazillion cloche or cake stand dome tops. And so I thought with it, with my collection, I could certainly find one that would fit on this cake stand. But I love it, black and it's wood. And then it's got this beautiful design right here. So anything I want to display on top, you're going to see the beautiful design through the glass dome. So I love it. So I got the large one. By the way, you can get these cake stands in three different sizes. And I was going to do a grouping of three, but ultimately I decided just to get two. So let's take this one out. Beautiful. No complaints. This is great quality. And you can see the two together. Love it. Love, love, love. Highly recommend. All right. This is a big box, so I've got to open it. It's a box within a box. All right. It's coming back to me what I purchased. And if I remember correctly, the way I save a lot of money, you guys, on Amazon is I buy used. Sometimes what that means is it's a new product, but the packaging comes somewhat damaged or beat up looking. And you know what? I don't care. Like, I don't care about the packaging because I save a lot of money that way. So you can see right here, this box, it came a box within a box. You can see it's kind of damaged looking. We will see if what's in the box comes damaged. Let's open it. Moment of truth. Here we go. Oh my goodness, it's heavy. Let's let's inspect. First of all, look how ginormous this beautiful glass dimpled vase is. It's absolutely stunning. And the reason I wanted to purchase this is because I was thinking of my beautiful new Long Island at the other house. And I wanna sit this on the end of, of the island and place some beautiful seasonal florals in it. So, so, yep, I'm looking at this. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it at all. Like I said, the packaging was just a little beat up, but I saved money and this is beautiful. This is 100% recycled glass. It almost has like a slight greenish tint to it. It's just beautiful. Very, very happy with this. So let me show you what I'm planning to put in the vase. Okay, a couple of things. So I, I decided to purchase two packs of these beautiful green stems that I get on Amazon. I love them. Love, love, love. They're super long. And then I purchased these beautiful florals. Check them out. They're different. Kind of want to say that in this house, it's been a little difficult decorating with color because I have found personally in my home, when I add color to all my displays, because you know I'm a maximalist, when I add the color, it just starts feeling cluttered, like the walls are coming in at me. So really looking forward to having a little more open space so I can add my beautiful color. If you guys have followed me for years, you guys know, especially at my big, big house, I used to add color to my displays all the time. And I've so missed it. I really have here at this house. So anyway, for spring and summer, I don't know. I saw these online and I'm like, these are different. These are different and they look so real. They really truly do. So what I'm going to do is place these and these together and I think it will really make a beautiful statement piece on my island. I want to open this bag so you can see how these look. I've shared these before in another previous haul but I liked them so much I bought two more. So that should tell you that I'm a fan of this product because if I wasn't, 
I wouldn't be buying more. So anyway, look how long they are, you guys. They come, let's see, how many stems do you get? You can order these where you get two stems or three. And I liked the other two stems so much, I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna order two sets of three stems. I wanted to look big and bold and beautiful. I thought three would do the trick. Now, when I get these, I sort of take them and sort of spread them out a little bit, make them look a little more natural. And when you do spread them out, you see it gives it a more fuller, grand appearance. So that's why I thought with three, it might look a lot better. So anyway, what I do is I kind of straighten the stem and then I take my vase and I decide how tall I want it to be. So I can clearly see I'm gonna need to bend this a little bit. So maybe like that. Maybe, let's try it. <laughs> That's about right. I love it. You know, and it just depends. Do you want a super full look or do you want a more sparse, kind of realistic, like I went out to the yard and I clipped a few branches from a tree or bush, you know, that kind of thing. I don't know, I, I'm thinking three is gonna be just fine. <laughs> do this one a little bit taller and I'm gonna stick it in the middle on its own it's beautiful I don't know if you guys can see you guys my house is a mess right now with boxes everywhere so there's really no good place to showcase this for you um, but anyway I'd have to stumble over boxes to get to my uh, cabinets but anyway this is really pretty you know and you can play with the branches until you get it just the way you want it. But I love it in this recycled glass vase. Now, we're going to go next level. Now I have this beautiful stem, and let's see how we can make this look. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. You guys are gonna love it. Check it out so far. Look how beautiful these flowers are. They really look beautiful. By the way, these come in almost, I don't know if it's like a champagne color or more of a blush pink, but there's another color they offer. I really want those too because then I could switch them out if I get bored with the yellow, but look how pretty. And that is just with two stems, but I liked these so much, I ordered two more boxes. So we could really go big, bold, and beautiful with the other additional two boxes of these, which would be a total of um, four more stems. Okay, so additionally to those florals, I also saw these on Amazon and I thought these looked really pretty and delicate and look how they come with some raffia tied around the stems. There is a little fallout, I'm not gonna lie, but, but very, very pretty. And so I could actually put these um, more cascading out at the base and then go tall and big and bold with the green stems and then the yellow floral stems. Or I could do this in another vase. But anyway, I got, I think, you get two in a box and they're really pretty, really pretty. So decor beads are just super, super in right now. And so I decided to get some brown decor beads and then I got some white ones with little tassels. And what you can do is tie these around the glass jar and that really takes it again up a level. It gives the vase more visual interest in character and really does take it next level. Something you would see at a boutique, you know what I mean? This is what the bead garland looks like. What you do is you take your garland that looks like this, make it even Steven, so the tassels are at the same length, right? And then do this. <laughs> Guys, my 
apologies for not having anywhere decent to set this, but like I said, I've got boxes everywhere. It's crazy. So anyway, love this look. Very, very pretty. It really does take it next level. And if you want, you can pull it off to the side and sort of let it dangle. Or, you know, keep it to the front and do something pretty that way. And here are the white beads and they uh, keep the tassels protected, which is nice. This is what the white decor beads look like. And then they have the cute jute tassels. So you have choices. You can go with the brown or go with the white, depending on your color scheme. I also believe they offer different color variations. So again, pick something that goes with your decor. <laughs> love it both ways. I really do. I I will tell you, I think this is really in right now. Even though we're going into spring and summer, I will tell you brown and black mixed with your seasonal decor is super hot right now. So I could go either way. I kind of like the brown beads because it kind of warms it up a little bit, but certainly if you get yourself a few beads, you can change them out when you get bored. You know? And these are very inexpensive too. So that's good. I forgot what I got in this box. This is paper and palette. So let's check it out. Oh, now I remember. It's a riser. Did you guess it was a riser? Okay, so this is more of, I would say, a more modern looking riser. It's this beautiful wood color. Then it comes with these black feet. And I bought one in all black and I absolutely love it. And so I thought I would try this look next. I'll put a picture up right here of what it's supposed to look like because you do have screws and you have to assemble it. It's super easy. If I can do it, anybody can like this. So you get three legs and let's see, right? Yeah, so all you do is screw it in right here. They give you the screws, you just screw it right in and you are done. So once you get it put together, you've got two here and then one on the back. And it's just a very simple, sleek, modern looking design. But you can see if I did the brown beads, I could sit this down or I could place a small wreath with a beautiful candle and that would look great. I just remembered I ordered more succulents because I really like the textural element it adds to displays. So let me open this because I'm gonna pop one in those little vases that I have there. I'll show you how it really pops. So I ordered a set of four. So this is what they look like. You get four of these, one, two, three, four. And I would say four goes a long way because you can place them like this. You can take succulents and just put them here like this up on a table or shelf. And see, look how that gives it a better look want to you can go in and pop one on the top and just let it hang and boom you have an adorable display okay next I ordered a set of six placemats I'll take it out and show you what they look like okay so they come like this in this little holder which is awesome so once you're done with them you have a place to store them but anyway I love these I love a textural element. You can use these dining room table. 
You can use these on your island. If you've got four uh, counter height bar stools, you can place four of those up there and leave them out all the time. Or you can use them as a textural backdrop. So you have options. Then I came across these three little, I call them nesting baskets but um, they come nicely packaged and I can fill the other baskets are within this basket. So let's take it out. Okay, really cute. So I just opened it. The other little baskets are in here. So seriously, how adorable are these baskets? I just love these and I just bought some from Amazon. I'll put a picture right here. And I love those too. But these are a little more bigger and bulkier, which I love. So now I've got options. I can switch them out. But I love adding these to displays. You could set them. You could actually set these on a floor uh, large riser and kind of just set them in a corner and maybe put a little plant on top. But I love these. The three, Amazon. And these are very in right now, as well as that color. Like I said, black, brown, beige, white, green, those colors are very, very in right now. And so if you incorporate those colors into your house and mix them with your, you know, everyday decor, it's really gonna pop. You can even stick your decor beads in perhaps the top one and, um, you know, do something with these. You know, let them drape on a table. You'd have to play with it, but you know what I mean? You can add these to your baskets. Okay guys, I got another beautiful vase. And just like that one, I got this one for less money because it was used or like new. And you can see the box right here. It's, it's not perfect. It's like a little beat up. Let's look inside and see if it's good quality. Nothing's broken. That's what we're looking for. If you get the used items or the like new ones, but the box is just a little beat up and damaged, and you're an Amazon Prime member, if the item is Amazon Prime, then you get a 30 day return policy, just like a new item. Can I just say, I'm in love. I'm in absolute love with this vase and that one too, for that matter. You cannot go wrong with either of these vases. These are such good quality. First of all, they're both from the Deco 79 store. This is 100% recycled glass. You guys, these are perfect for spring and summer. They have like a, a slightish greenish bluish sort of tinge to it, but it's beautiful. And this says Cabernet on it. This is a Spanish vase. I don't know if you guys can see, it looks like it's got some sort of an emblem. And then it says Cabernet. And it's, it's heavy, it's great quality. This would look great on a kitchen island, on one of your buffets, um, a beautiful cabinet, and fill it with seasonal florals year round. Oh, and then I wasn't sure what I wanted to put in that face. So I got more of those long green floral stems. You can't go wrong with these. They're awesome. But in addition to this, I got something else. So I'm a little obsessed with the eucalyptus stems on Amazon. They come like this and you get six stems and these are beautiful. They're amazing. I cannot say enough good things about these. They are big, they're bold, they're beautiful. When you fluff these, they fluff out huge. I mean, literally you can get away with two and it looks huge. But when you put six together, it's like, whoa. I don't wanna take these out because like I said, we're moving and I wanna keep these nice, but they're gorgeous. You cannot go wrong with these. Highly, highly recommend these. Probably going to be making a trip to the log home because I wanna go grab the nice dining room table and chairs. I wanna grab some of my nicer pieces of furniture and bring them to the new house. So that will ultimately give the house, you know, a new look. But I am absolutely, absolutely loving the darker brown tones with pops of color and then lightening up the space with an open and airy glass 
vase, just like this. I think it's gonna be beautiful. Well, friends, that's gonna wrap up my video for today. I hope you like the items I shared with you today. And I am so excited to get these in the new house and sort of come up with a slightly altered different look. Can't wait, you guys, I'm so excited and I can't wait to share it with all of you. So have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Mwah! Bye guys. Thank you.